who is qualified to give us the secrets of life. Remember, God is truth. But in this edition, we're going to study God is light. Illumination. There's a reason why frauds, deceivers, and predators so easily get their voice heard today as a life guide for your future or for your kid's identity. Because there's been a ridiculous vacuum of truth, of light, illumination. This is why it's critical that we talk about and study the true meaning of life, the true meaning of life and the identity of light, or say it this way, the person of light. It'll help us illuminate the way so we can find our way to truth, to life. We have to be able to answer the big questions regarding this thing called life. Who, what, and why, and who am I? And what's my purpose? And, 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 and why was I ever born? Can somebody tell me? You know, when I was a boy, because of the circumstances in my family, the rejections and the hurts, I heard a message in my head that I was worthless, that I was ugly, I was a failure, I was useless. I didn't intend to believe a lie or even want to. It just became a way, a mental reflex, if you will, to deal with all the sadness, the depression, the rejection. Here's what I heard. Just, just accept it so you can begin to compensate. This is who you are, so deal with your truth and just move on. But my mom, she would encourage me to read God's word, God's truth, and see what God would say about me. And as I began to re read, I'm gonna be honest with you, I had a crisis in my thinking. God's word totally contradicted my belief system that was already being shaped and formed and that I was accepting. It was painful at times. I would have Jesus ask me, he would say, what would it profit you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? The Lord was in fact telling me that my soul was worth more to him than the whole wide world and I was already adjusting to just being worthless and a person of absolutely no consequence with no destiny. I was just getting comfortable with dying and now Jesus was breathing new life into me. Yes, at times it hurt, it was painful. I needed God's amazing grace to be resurrected into his new thinking. I needed to come up out of those waters.